So we've both got three re-rolls. He's actually got more um, more fan factor than me. He's got fan factor eight, and I've got fan factor seven. Red versus blue. That seems okay. This echoes bad news, isn't it? I'm going to have to get some um, stuff to go on the walls here. Yeah, you got two babes. I thought he might get two babes. It's kind of a pain, but I'm more worried about getting out bashed anyway. So I just got to kill this guy. That's the that's the key. That's the key thing: killing this one and whittling down his guard. But obviously, he'll be trying to whittle down my guard and kill my killer as well. So pretty cool. So this is the um, OFL playoffs wild card wild card weekend the LFC which is like the European ones yes sir well, it should be tight I mean it was 1-1 last time we played um, I rolled a quad skull to score basically but I it was only 1-1 because I'd got a riot so 1-1 was kind of fair Oh wow! I like. I like it's it's also um. We're both pretty British, aren't we? Okay, I'm going to put the guard of there. Shit. I really want to foul him. Maybe I should have thought about this and only gone with five chaffs. I can't foul him on defense. What the fuck? So I'm going to have to play a hard match and just try to just try to win on defense. Oh god. So I've got to go for like the 2-0 here. Or the 1-0, but I've got to just put everything into stopping him scoring. Because otherwise I look like an idiot for buying this guy. He's going to blitz one of them anyway, so I might as well put them together. No, no, I don't want to put them together. I really hate that this is an ogre, but it looks like a rat ogre. I fucking hate that. But it's because it gets mutations. I'm I'm pretty sure is the reason. Yeah, I guess I should have gone... Gone for not only giving him one babe, or gone for the extra play, extra reserve, and then I could have started with a dirty player. Hmm. But at least I've got a rookie blocker to blitz. Losing the toss sucked. Because obviously I've got a few mighty blows. Three, four, four guys with mighty blows, so. Um, so yeah, I, this is pretty annoying. Hello, Yuri Styles. Um, The enhanced stadium is is no TV, so it's it's kind of a money sink. But to get the better ones, like well, the stadium enhancement, like a bribe, the extra bribes doesn't count for TV. None of it counts for TV. But if you improve your stadium so it looks nicer, then that that fucks you over because you've got to save up money, which counts for TV to afford it, which was a stupid idea. You can't just pay in a little bit. You know you've got to pay it all in one go. Which sucks. I like I like his team here. It's pretty cool that we're both British British teams. Yes, brilliant coaching. 
I only ever buy um I only ever buy assistant coaches because I'd rather win the brilliant coaching than the um cheering fans. <laughs> Loser gets Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a Brexit one way or the other in this match, isn't there? So here's Danger Man. Oh, number 8 for the guard, number 10 is the carrier, and number 11 is his claw bomber. Yeah, hire and fire rookie players or cheerleaders or um, Apple. Yeah, that's what I do. Poor little, poor little shitters. Could blitz this one. Pylon's pretty safe, isn't it? But it takes me out of the way. So. Gonna surround him. Something like this. I like to not think too much, you know, a four minute turn, think for about three seconds. I guess that's one of the reasons why I didn't qualify for the World Cup. <laughs> The thing is, getting rid of your bank now isn't such an issue, Yuri Styles, because you're mostly getting matched against, like you know, with with if you're winning more than you lose, and and also the pools are kind of small, so you're probably going to get matched against whoever anyway. So it almost doesn't matter that much what about t controlling TV anymore, really. Um, it doesn't matter as much as it used to anyway, controlling TV. In my opinion, because if if you're getting matched, like let's say you've got plus ten wins, and you get matched up, um, you know, an extra five hundred TV, then that's something. All right, block tackle. Don't care about him. Guard can't really get him. Could get him with this claw guy. Yeah. Could put a guard in there. I want to get him away though, don't I? No, I can't I can't do it, so nice. <laughs> nice.
Nice. Claw men's. Fucking people up. Love it. Um. Don't need to dodge him away, do I? Armor seven. Sol Campbell actually got claw a while ago. Um, he just hasn't been using it very well. Oh yeah, of course, get his guard in there and he gets to 2D him for free and then blitz him. But my guy does have stand firm, so if he doesn't... Um, if he just gets pushes, which is obviously 45% of the time, he'll want to re-roll it, which is good. Maybe I should have put my claw pommer here. Because my claw bomber getting blitzed by his claw bomber isn't so bad because mine has fend. It's kind of shit, obviously, on defense because. Ah, oh, there you go. Um, see, so he did. He did have to re-roll it, so I don't want to stand firm, do I? Because if he follows up, uh, no, he doesn't follow up. I can't, I can't apple it. I literally can't. Maybe I should have done, because it's for the playoffs. Maybe I should have done. I should have thought about it for longer. Shit. But a miss next game isn't that, isn't that bad, is it? But... I might need him for the next game. Fuck. But I mean, he's he's shit. So I want to I want to sack him because he's moving three. So long term he's shit. But you know, he's missing the he's missing the crucial one against the Amazons now. Down a guard. I'll only have two guard for the game against the. Amazon's even if I win this now. Which is going to be fucking turd. Look at this elf screen and bullshit here. Can you believe it? Um could my tackle have got him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nearly. His claw pommer. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Could get me if I move forward. So let's just keep one bullet either side. So they can react if they have to. This is a crap way to play, obviously. It is the Spartaco way. 
and yes a lot of table toppers it's like it's also the purple goo way and that um but you know trying to stop the score is is hard isn't it i'd rather just i'd rather just fight the first half and try to win the second half start my dirty player maybe protected my blood show hands pesto uh, pestigo Full cent or maybe I should have not played him and played the dirty player and just fought, just tried to fight for the first half and play for overtime. That might have been the better choice. <laughs> yes, Fash Binder, it is. <laughs> So I'm just going to try and hold the line for as long as possible, I think. What with? He's got some agility for, but... He's not particularly terrifying. Is this his garter? Yeah, so I get a claw hit on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's a smart way to move. Got to make this dodge, haven't I, here? No big whoop. Well, thank you, Fash Binder. <laughs> um, the whole real scooter, Jay. So he's he's getting to the point now where he's got to start thinking about crossing the halfway line, hasn't he? He's got mighty blow, but if I was to 2D him, I might just push him here, and I'd rather he was not blocking my claw guy. I, want, I wanted him on his feet here, preferably, but I didn't. If the push had been better, I would have thought about, thought about the minus 2D. I even could have re-rolled it, couldn't I, because I've got four re-rolls. So... It's been a sad day for my claw pommer, hasn't it? Well, and for his, he hasn't been able to pile on. It is packed. Um, Chaos packed. They're not actually in Blood Bowl 1, but OFL lets, um, like, have mods to let people use them, basically.
Should I hit the ball then? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could hit the ball. Make a GFI here and then hit the ball. With tackle. Where's his claw pommer here? Um, or I could... Hitting the ball is kind of tempting, but I could just 2D as Olga, can't I? And blitz this guy and stuff. They use the skin so that you can tell um, when he's mutated. Kind of tempted to go for the ball, but it's just this this block, isn't it? Is the thing. dice his claw I want to two dice him because if I two dice the ball I don't know I guess I can jam people in all right I'm going for it mega style Fuck off! <laughs> what a fucking bell end. Well, it's still, it's not easy for his claw pommet to hit me, is it? And. Yeah, I hate, it's the same on the, um, on some other team that, that they created, they use something else. Or they use the Warpstone Troll on Slan because it, um, it fits in with the theme, which is a Goblin Circus. But I'd rather it was just a fucking Crocs, so I knew it was a fucking Crocs. To be honest, Vaya Yava, I have literally no idea whether they play the third place decider. They did talk about that they were going to play it on the forums, but then they didn't. Uh, there were colours and shapes, so I'm not sure I'm looking at. Yeah, it, it, this is why when it came out, all the fumblers were like, it looks shit. And then all of the uh, all the people who supported Blood Bowl 1 were like, nah, it looks great. And it's like, well, it doesn't look as great as it should. Whereas Blood Bowl 2 actually does look as great as it should, doesn't it? It looks unbelievable, Blood Bowl 2. So, that's good. This is a this is a bit of a pickle for him, isn't it? I mean, he can go for a dodge away. He can go for a... Is he just going to try and block my bull or something? I don't know. Is he going to try and blitz free with him? I don't know. I don't know what his play is here. Oh, maybe I do. I don't know. He hasn't got a guard, has he? So he's he is in a he is in a pickle. Wow. So he still had the two D there. Maybe maybe he could have rerolled that. That was bad play by me. I guess still leaving that on.
can't believe that scatter. I can't believe that fucking scatter. <laughs> I guess he's going to dodge away. I guess he's going to dodge away now, and that's why he wanted to save the reroll for the dodge away, didn't he? That makes sense. Um, it's not clear. Yeah, sorry, I should put this in the um, title of Agente. It is Chaos Pact, um, homemade by um, the OFL guys. Hey, one in nine. <laughs> whoop, whoop. No squalling from me then. So now he can block him. He wants to pick up the ball. Three, four. Oh God, there's just too many things to do. I have to claw on him. Good. This is off the pitch. Um, I want to do it. I want to do it with him, don't I? Three, four, five. So he can come in. Who's going to blitz though? I guess the other guy. Let's put him on him. And get the guarder in for that block. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and or I'd just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's more likely to work on him, isn't it? I had to make the pick up. Fuck you, man! And I had to do that so that he could blitz and run around. Fucking hell. I wasn't even greed, like... One, two, three, four, five, six. If I'd got to there... Then he could have blitzed and then stood in front of him. And I had a reroll. It's shit as well because I've given him that second babe. And if his fucking KO'd killer comes back. But it's a good half, isn't it? It looks like I've stopped him scoring. But haven't, haven't stopped him scoring yet. But two cars, I've taken two cars, he's taken one, but his was a fucking irrelevant rookie. And I lost one of my better players and an irrelevant rookie. Thanks to a fucking dodge fail. Dodge fail, GFI fail. 
it's not the bludge one, of course. Should have maybe gone for the canoring threat. Dark Elf Blood Blitcher rolls double five. Yeah, guard. 100% guard. Yeah, it's a 1 in 36, though, isn't it? Come on. Like, th this is where, like, obviously, common sense says don't roll dice with a guy with a ball. But on the other hand, it playing it safe just doesn't work too much of the time. Like, it was pretty easy for him to run and get the ball and pass it. You know, like he just did. That wasn't that hard. So, I kind of think that I wasn't wrong to go for it. Maybe I was wrong to go for it. But come on, it was a one in fucking 36. He's not even guard. There's no guards in here at all. Sure, it's he just does the handoff with fucking no rerolls. <sighs> sure, why not? Yeah, of course. All right, one dice needing a push. Oh no, block he's got, he hasn't got block. Got fucking tackle. Could I have gone around? Was I really stupid then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could have gone around. Ugh! Could have gone around. <sighs> I have not captured any Pokemon on Pokemon Go. I haven't played it. And of course, his fucking Marauder. His Marauder rolls a fucking one. So letting the touchdown in is the worst thing that I could have possibly done. I didn't even think till then. Yes, yeah, Sarah Marl, you crazy, you crazy bastard. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe what I was reading when you're like, I stole too long. I was like, why are you stalling in overtime? <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. I could have gone around. I just thought my guy's got dodge. I didn't look to see if his guy had tackle. But even then, even if I'd had dodge, I could have just fucking gone around. Oh my god. What's better, the break tackle or the dodge? I guess the break tackle for the first one. Let's this guy. Psh, psh, psh. Oh, 
Right, I need to get my um I need to get my my cheat sheet, whatever the fuck it is. To have a chance at this, I think. So he has set up in literally the worst possible way. Ah, so I blitzed the middle guy. I don't have three guards though. So psh, blitz the middle guy. That pushes him out to there. And then I move this guy into here. And this guy around. Yeah, so I've, I've got someone to go around and do the pass. All right, good. He has done the worst, the worst possible setup against me. It was a four plus dodge flash binder. It made a it made a gap, and that's not even that bad. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Oh, he's got a goblin. I didn't see the uh, goblin, did I? Two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, no, it's not right. Does this guy block? I don't know. Of course, it's a fucking one. <sighs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, now his killer's back. <sighs> can't believe that. Oh, I can't believe I could have just run around. I think the GFI that I made was fine. But then maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have made the GFI. But it's 1 in 36, isn't it? It's There's much more chance of him 1 dicing and powering him than there is of me 1 in 36ing. Or him failing the pickup is a lot more likely than me failing the GFI and stuff. So like, you are conditioned to never, never make that GFI. But I don't think it's always right to not make the GFI. So he's got his killer back. Motherfucker. Who are the killers? Five and six. Seven's my dirty player, yeah.
Okay, oh, good. That's why I went with the um, the claw pommer blocking the guy without anything. GFI is the bane of my life. <sighs> I can't believe that. I can't believe I fucked it up. <laughs> Stolen the ball on defense. And if I hadn't, if he hadn't scored, not only would there wouldn't be like there's going to be overtime here at best. But not only would it have been nil nil, he wouldn't have had his killer for the whole of the second half. An unbelievably costly mistake. Unbelievable. The good thing is that you can't pile on this whole half anyway. But the bad thing is that I'm permanently down to 11 max and he's on 12 max. Yeah, exactly. Again, to BB, it's awful. It's awful for me. I've I've written down the numbers, what what skills they have by the numbers, and I've on a shitty little raggy little bit of paper. And I I didn't I didn't care who I tackled when I as you know when I, I wrote it down who I tackled, but I didn't know that guy had tackled there. Which obviously I'd have still failed if I known he had tackled. But I should have counted to see if I could have run round. Oh, that was so bad. I mean, I guess I deserved to lose because of that, but I just wish I hadn't failed the GFI, really. Yeah, that is true, yeah, began to, yeah. Where's my guard number six? One fucking guard player. Well, two ones are club on me, so he doesn't really want to be guarding anybody. Okay, so he's putting some heat on over here, hasn't he? So I've got to at least cover the ball a little bit better, first of all. Then I can one dice him away and stand him up, move him in here. He's going to stand up, isn't he? There'll be three assists. If I just get a push. Good. Cover this first in case I fail. 
case this is a skull. <sighs> Using a reroll suck, didn't it then? But I wanted to get the ogre down. Is ogre that hasn't boneheaded the whole match. So now I can like abandon the ogre. So he's not taking up loads of valuable players. He can just 1v1 a hobgoblin. Poor, poor rookie Chaff getting murdered, yeah, of course. So, guard goes in here. This guy wrecks him. Must pile on, otherwise I'll get claw palmed in return. Number eight, a guarder. Well, I like the sound of that. No, I don't. I can't foul because I've got no players left. I guess I'll go here actually. Oh, this is so annoying that it's going to extra time at best. I really wanted to not have to play extra overtime against his claw pommer. He can make a decent foul here, but it's just not that good, is it, fouling? Yeah, I did... Well, I chose the GFI. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I chose very badly on that blitz. That was ridiculously bad. Ridiculously bad blitz. I'd probably roll the double one anyway, though. I imagine. I don't mind if he goes for a foul here. No blitz from the claw pommer, that's the ticket. Obviously sucks to get the um dirty player hit. But at least 
at least the claw pummel did not blitz. Could blitz him, but obviously it means that my claw palm is in contact with his ogre, which isn't great. Could also blitz him, mighty blow. Maybe I can blitz him then. I'd love to foul, but it's just not worth it with overtime, is it? I guess next turn I'll make more of a push downfield. At least it's a team with Claw Pum that's outbashing me this game anyway, instead of fucking pro elves outbashing me. <laughs> I'd much rather just knocked him down and got a Claw or a Claw Pom Blitz in, but never mind. Claw Mighty Blow guy has been pretty, pretty effective. He's my guard player. Three, four, five, six. Run around this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So fucking lame. I don't even have a guard. So I'd have to get three players around, including him. I can just stay where I am. Coming in the middle would have been something I'd like to do though.
Pity he was stunned, because otherwise standing him up and moving him in would have been nice. The bad thing is, is Olga's in a good spot. The good thing is I can break tackle away. The ball carry has blodge and sure hands. It's good that he literally can't re-roll the attrition blitzers, can he? With overtime looming. Yeah, this stun was actually massive. Because otherwise I could have put him in there. And he'd have been trapped next to Claw. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Overstretched a little bit, I guess. But he's also overcommitted a little bit. Tag his guarder. Four one on break tackle, yeah. Amazingly it didn't happen. So which of my guys are out one and ten? And four for him is out. So yeah, it kind of sucks that he got guard into the mixer, but... And my other guard's over here. And now it's kind of too late to switch again. He's defended his claw pommel well, hasn't he? I haven't had a chance to get him. Yeah, you can't reroll that. Right, so my claw pommel can blitz his ogre. KO. 
cheeky KO. That's all right. Obviously, I don't really want my claw pommer getting and my bull getting hit, so we'll go this way. Badly hurt, nice. Yeah, up on the badly hurt, that makes sense if he wants to win that much. Just all these KOs that I'm getting are fucking worthless, aren't I, with babes? I think I should be okay for the score here. This is great that he's got, for him, that he's got three minutes to think about it anyway, whereas in Blood Bowl 2 it only had 15 seconds, which fucking sucks, doesn't it? But obviously he could have thought about it before he, he went for the dodge in Blood Bowl 2, but it's kind of, I, that does annoy me in Blood Bowl 2. It's just a shame my claw is too far away to blitz, isn't he? Yeah, BGFI. I was thinking that maybe I shouldn't have moved him back, but fuck it. Um, I want to run around, I want to push him to here, don't I? Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So got him as well. I don't it just I've I've got to use the reroll, that's a thing if it fails. And I want to keep my rerolls for overtime, so like obviously twenty P would have had a sturdier defence had this been first half. That's why I do like to um receive um, yeah that's why I like to kick receiving the whatever it is what did he do he received because then he doesn't have to use his his rerolls on defense does he and he's got it in the bag gone overtime but as it happened he shouldn't have even made it to overtime if I hadn't been a fucking idiot I wish I'd made the dwarf one turn, that would have been pretty special. But I didn't see the goblin till it was too late. If I'd seen the goblin and I got three dice, then I might have made it.
Does that work? I don't even know if it matters. He might be able to make a one turn. I don't think... I think he's only moving six though, isn't he? So... I guess there could be a riot. Oh, he's got a goblin. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about him. He does have a one turn shit, so I should have put a few squares up. Yeah, the good thing is that my guys are, would be subs. You know, I've got 13 players, so I can just leave 1 and 10 off the pitch. And obviously 20p can leave number 4 off the pitch. <sighs> Fuck's sake. I can't believe I made that dumbass play. Thank you, Sarah Mall. So him having the um, having the things isn't so bad for me. Um, the babes, because at least I've got ultimate babes for the uh, overtime. Oh shit! Oh my god, I forgot I had to kick it. I hate it doesn't prompt you. Okay, not a touchback at least. Right, I need to eat, so I'll, I'll mute the microphone for a, a short while. At least we know how many rerolls we've got because we're both at three rerolls. Oh, I can't believe I fucked up that blitz. So now I'm missing missing a chalf blocker, my best chalf blocker. Might the stopping him might be hard if he wins the toss. Plus, of course, he can score at any time, and he's got three agility four. But if I win the toss, um, I think it'll be hard for him to stop me too. So... Oh, nice reroll! Oh, yeah! Oh, wow, that was amazing. That was Spartacle-like. <laughs> Using that reroll on turn 16. After he was so controlled for the whole half. There was a couple of times where I think he would have re-rolled it. But, um, you know, he was obviously aware of overtime and didn't. Who's going to get my MVP? Oh, that's, that's handy, isn't it? That is handy that he's going to get. He'll be getting up to 31 soonish, hopefully, if he survives. <laughs> 